art. I'm your host, Nika Harper, and we're gonna take food to the next level. We're creating magnificent geeky sculptures out of edible items. These competitors think they have what it takes, and they were available on short notice. Let's welcome them. To start it off, we have Bring Out the Booze, Hannah Hart. Hey! That's me. My name is Hannah Hart, and I have a YouTube show called My Drunk Kitchen, which you can find online at youtube.com slash Well, for me, the inspiration behind My Drunk Kitchen was at one moment, I was awake, then I was drunk, and then I was hungry. So I began to cook, and my life has never been the same. If I won Gastro Geek here today, it would change my entire life. I'm the kind of person that says things like, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to win. The man with the appetite, Furious Pete. What up? My name is Peter Czerwinski, but I'm also known as Furious Pete in the competitive eating world. That's right, I am a competitive eater. You know, winning this competition would mean everything. I have eight Guinness World Records, but that means nothing if I lose this competition. I have to win today. And Her Majesty, the Queen of Geek, Felicia Day. Hi, my name is Felicia Day. I'm a writer, actress, producer, gamer, pet owner, pretty much everything but a food sculptor. My inspiration to start Geek and Sundry was that I woke up one day and I said, it's a great idea to do a video a day. Why not? The shows on Geek at Tendry are all about uh, geeky things like tabletop gaming and, and gaming with my brother and, and sculpting things out of food. What, what, what I mean, we, we make everything. Why are you asking? Gastro Geek has such an amazing providence and it's so auspicious. I couldn't be prouder of putting the, the trophy, do we get a trophy? No? I couldn't be prouder to, to put the prize, uh, do we have a prize? I just couldn't be prouder. Welcome to Gastro Geek. Please grab your buckets. You'll be creating a sculpture out of food based on the theme provided. There's only one round, so if you blow it now, you're screwed. Also before you, you have a bucket of mystery ingredients. You must incorporate each of these ingredients into the sculpture. You can also use ingredients from the counter or the fridge. Your experience here is timed. When the time runs out, our secret panel of judges will appear to judge your sculpture based upon the overall theme, the artistry, and how creatively you used your secret ingredients. Ready? Open your buckets. Whoa. What? Uh -huh. Ready? Open your buckets. When I took the top off of the, the bu bucket, it smelled like puke in there. I'm just saying. Oh. What is that? I told you it stinks. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, the smell. The mystery ingredient is dried oh. squid. Oh. The squid smells like death. No, it just smells. It just smells like rotten fish. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, the second mystery ingredient is bitter melon. It has a problem. It stayed out in the sun too long. Mm -hmm. It's got some skin damage. The third mystery ingredient is taro root. Which Ooh, one? Your taro me apart. I'm guessing it's this. Oh, I've had this. Your what else do we have here? Your mystery ingredient is sun choke. Sun, sun choke. choke. Oh, so, I read about these. These cause this? people to uh, fart a lot. I'm really? Look it up oh, really? Wikipedia. Are you choking around with me right now? <laughs> uh, the fifth mystery ingredient are chicken's feet. Uh, I can't. Oh. No, no, it's gross. Oh my god. Chicken feet. Like with the. There it goes. I'm actually. I can't deal with this. There you go. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Do you need some help? The sixth and last ingredient are cheese puffs. You should have you saved the foot for last. The theme of the show is movie monsters. That means aliens, robots, anything you can think of. Any questions? You have 45 minutes. The time starts now. Instantly when I see the squid, I know what I'm gonna do. Kraken. The Kraken is my centerpiece, so I'm gonna focus my taro root and my squid and 
also the chicken foot, all in that one centerpiece monster. I don't really know what to build. I'm not really good with monsters and themes and movies and whatnot, but I think I'm just gonna build something that looks scary and massive and it's coming out of the ground somehow. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna go and just start building something and hopefully it turns into a monster. Suddenly it occurred to me, the thing I should make is the birth of the monster itself. So I'm gonna build a structure that is a non-offensive witch doctor using a human sacrifice to birth a monster from the side of a mountain. Duh! I think my toughest competition is Pete. Felicia is her own worst enemy, so I'm not really worried about her. I feel like the squid would be disgusting where I know it's so freaked out by this chicken foot right now. Oh, this I is so gross, seriously. More. Hey, Mom. So now I have an idea. I'm kind of going to use the squid as kind of a cyclops kind of thing that's going to be coming out of the ground. This is the point at which I'm just getting desperate. I need to somehow assemble my kraken, and the, it doesn't feel like anything's gonna be holding these really heavy pieces of terror together. So I just go for the most powerful thing I see, uh, which is a hammer. Felicia's brought a hammer out, and I can only think one thing. Man, that girl's trying to get hammered. Okay, this is exactly this. how you're supposed solid. to work with Yeah, hammer. thank you. Ah! I'm not swearing. Okay. Let's... Contestants, you have 35 minutes remaining. Oh, thank God. I don't know what Hannah's doing right now. She's way too confident. I don't trust anybody who's confident in life or in gastro geek, okay? So I just am suspicious. I feel like she might have it out for me, and then I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get paranoid because I think she knows something I don't know, and that's what I don't like. This is not how, ah! What? I don't like tools. Felicia, do you need help? Do you want me to help? Ah! No. This is dangerous! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Contestants, freeze! Ah, <gasps> oh, sh. What is that? We have a twist. When I saw Nika walk in with another bucket, I thought to myself, man, this is really gonna throw Felicia off. Why would they have a twist? I'm like stunned right now. This is illegal in some states. What's a show without a twist? So what is your monster without a victim? You have new materials to make it with. Canned meat and a banana. Uh. The judges will be eating your victim. So when it comes down to judging, you get bonus points if he tastes delicious. So great, now we gotta do a victim. I don't know, it's a banana and meat in a pot. It's criminal. You have 15 minutes. Oh, oh no! Okay. Come Quick! On. Wow, this is a great twist. I've already made a victim. I'll just remove his head and put on another one, and that'll be really getting ahead. I took the banana and I made a, vi a victim split in half with its guts spewing out. The eggshell is simply there to protect the head from any flies from sitting on it. It wasn't meant to be part of the body. So, now with the twist, my strategy is to make the smallest victim possible so that the judges don't have to eat a whole big thing of potted meat, or whatever the heck kind of meat it is, in a banana. First of all, those are disgusting items together. Second of all, I, I need the judges to like me. So, I'm kind of a suck up in life, so I think I got this. My main intention with the taste I'm creating is to mask the taste of the meat by using profuse amounts of chocolate and banana. Variety's the spice of life. I've been looking to throw that in there somewhere. Chocolate and banana on a monster cracker? Please, I'll eat it myself. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost forgot this ingredient. You didn't use the bitter melon? You knew this! Hannah, you knew this! You saw this right here by the glue gun! That's why you're so feisty! I don't know. You know that moment in cooking shows where somebody forgets an ingredient and you're like, huh, that was staged. This really happened to me. This bitter melon is sitting here unused and I've got like five minutes left. I'm freaking out right now. I think so Contestants. Too. You go the mile or you don't go the The countdown all. starts. 10, 9, 8, Ow! I burned 7, Ouch! 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands off, Felicia. Now welcome our judges, Alexis Denisoff and Colin Ferguson. Ooh. Hello, Judge. Judge. 
All right, each of our contestants made a sculpture based on the geeky theme of movie monsters. Now they used six ingredients, starting with dried squid, sunchoke, taro root, bitter melon, chicken's feet, and cheese puffs. They also made an edible victim, particularly made out of banana and canned meat. Now you guys kind of have to eat that. I don't know if I want to eat it. I don't, I don't remember that in the context. That was not a question. You're going to be judging based upon three criteria, which is creativity, the use of ingredients, and the theme. Now let's take a look at our monster. Oh boy. Clearly this is from Jaws. We... Um, I was thinking Jurassic Park. I feel like it's the little guy whose whose neck does that. Okay. All right. Right. I see you. I see. You. No, I was. I was. Um... There's a lot of emotion here. I mean, the the expression on the victim's face. Sad. It's really. Is it you feeling that? It's sad. Yeah. It's King Kong. Could be Kong. Hannah, be. are you ready to tell them what it is? Yeah. Well. Being a truly original artist, it's not actually from a specific monster movie, but really the theme of uh, perhaps a witch doctor using human sacrifice to raise forth a terrible hell beast. My piece is about anticipation. She had no idea what she was doing. No, I don't yeah. think so. And this victim that I've composed for you is uh, actually pretty tasty. It's two pieces of banana, just the slightest hint of canned meat, and uh, a lot of chocolate frosting. So it's canned meat and banana? All right. Mm. Medic. Oh, it's, medic. Medic. it's not too soon to send a medic. Oh. In. Oh, How is it? Amazing. All right, it's time to take a look at Pete's sculpture. Oh, Pete! Oh, what great use yeah. of texture! Yeah, that, are you? How are you feeling? A little hot. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. All right, so if you could put a movie on this, what would it be? What movie is this? Um, Dark I'm sort of getting a, a tootsie feel from the the headdress. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which it isn't traditionally <laughs> thought of as a monster movie, <laughs> but this is this is uh, pretty horrific. Why don't we hear from the artist? Yeah. Okay. So this uh, this monster is from the movie Island Monsters. Oh, I was that was the ne I was that was my next. Unfortunately, yeah. that movie doesn't exist. He lives in the sand, so he's really popped up right now. Half of his body. We got the tail back here, of course. Of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it is a kind of, it's supposed to be a cyclops right there. He's, he's ready the to shoot cigar. out of there. Hey, what part is Colin eating? Well, I noticed that there's wood glue I, here. I, the, I really there's just, no wood glue in the victims, I would though, just right? recommend eating the head, personally. The head. I'm no, no, there, I'll YouTube, it'll get take the wrong a rating. little bit of, little bit. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, that, that was crunchy. <laughs> Not typically a taxi you associate with a banana. Not feeling the best I've I ever felt. Hear it. So let's take a bite out of Felicia's victim and check out her sculpture. Wow. Wow. Okay. Also, a nice use of texture, a nice use of background with the uh, the seaweed floor. I also like the field of orange. A nice touch, I must say. The repetition of shape is pleasing to my eye. I'm gonna say this is the great battle of Godzilla and his longtime nemesis. Does he have a name? <laughs> um, so the Cheetos represent the audience. I wanted to uh, break the fourth wall, in a sense, Whoa. to incorporate uh, the idea that the audience is watching this, because it is a movie monster, mm -hmm. right? You get yeah. that part? Uh -huh. <laughs> this movie that the cheese stuff are watching is um, three monsters and a baby. What we have here is we have um, uh, Dracula. Uh, you, can, oh, you can actually... Of course, that's clear now. He wasn't a lady, but yeah. that's cool. It yeah. was the, the lipstick threw me. Just had he very... probably ate recently and that yes, caused it. Yes, blooded. Yeah. And we have uh, Frankenstein, you can tell by the, the square yes. head. And then we have uh, Glitter Kraken, which is my own invention, a Glitter Kraken. Uh, and they're basically battling over who's going to eat the young baby that they found in the forest. And you'll see that I... Oh, they are fierce. Yeah. Of all, of all three, there is no movie that any of them are. Is that right? That right. Just to point out, none of us did right. a real right. movie. <laughs> okay. yeah. So we can dispense with that category. We, yeah, we, we were lied to. That's fine. All right. And this food group, the orange straps. Uh, on I just Twitter. thought he had flair. Glitter Kraken is not a uh, a, a down dresser. He's no. He's got a little. No, no. <laughs> what final feast is Colin Ferguson have in store? The baby would be uh, meat, potted meat, uh, a little bit of seaweed, and a raspberry. So this guy. Oh. Ooh. No. Ah. Oh. He did. He's doing well, it. Well, that's yep. good stuff. <laughs> All right, contestants, thank you so much. We are going to deliberate and probably get some yeah. medical help. Um, would you please excuse us?
Now that I finished, I kind of wish that I had done a little bit more elaborate decoration around the victim. And I, I definitely would have liked to put some more clothes on my Frankenstein. He's a little naked. I hope that the judges take a long, hard look at my work. And my work takes a long, hard look right back at them. Contestants, we have deliberated. Judges, please tell us the winner. We, uh... We talked it through in depth. Well, first of all, we are very impressed with your work, all Thank three you, of you. Yeah. And without a doubt, this was unanimous. Uh, and uh, we're giving it to. <laughs> without a doubt, this was unanimous. Uh, and uh, we're giving it to contestant number three. <laughs> I won. I did. Glad Thanks. you invited your friends to come and judge your show, Felicia. Well, I just work with them. They're not friends. You know, I don't know why I wasn't surprised that Felicia was going to win. The judges were literally her celebrity friends. But at times like this, when I feel down, I just remember that the last time I was on Geek and Sundry, I totally whooped everybody on tabletop. Looks just yeah. like this. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted. I think the judges, regardless of being my friends or not, definitely judged everyone fairly. No, I don't think the judges were fair at all. I think they were, they were bribed by her funny, funny comments and her good looks and all that. Congratulations. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. no, uh, yeah. no, are you okay? Yeah, no, yeah, cause, cause... Medic? He was gonna tell you that his, um... Yeah! Oh, God. I'm sorry, Colin. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. Yeah, I appreciate sure. it. Yeah, uh, sure. Good job. So, Felicia, how does it feel to be a winner? I hate to say it, but it feels pretty great. <laughs> Is it bad to be happy? It's bad to be happy. God, my mom's right. Everybody's gonna hate me now. Because of your unique take on monsters, we are going to present you with a prize. Trophy girls! Hey guys, good hey, to see you. Hey, Felicia. Oh no, she did not. Oh, is that, is that all you win? Congratulations. That's it? You're the gastro geek. Oh. We made it for you. Have fun with this, a trophy that rots. You don't see that often. Thanks guys, I'm really proud to be a gastro geek winner. I'm the winner. Thanks for watching Geek Week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>